All right now, with working with annuities. Okay, so we're, we're now working with annuities and we're trying to figure out exactly how much that is worth. So one of the things that we know is that we take this basic equation here. Okay, and we can then figure out and we can solve for the, for a particular, for, uh, for a particular solution. Let's say that we have a case where we have um, we have payments in the amount of $94, and we have uh, an interest rate here of 13%. And let's say that we have 10 payments, okay? And we're trying to figure out what our present value is, okay? So we can substitute and solve all this stuff in, right? Plug all this stuff into the equation here. So we have 1 minus 1 over uh, 1.13 to the 10th power divided by 0.13, right? And we can do the math here. So we can go 1.13, raise it to the 10th. Okay, so I just did this bottom part here. Okay, and then I can hit the I, 1 over x, right, which it brings it down to the bottom. Turn it into a negative. So that's, this whole part right here is that negative 0.29. And then we can add 1 to that. And so that 0 0.705, that's going to be the top here. We're then going to divide that by 0.13, okay? So that, this whole section here is 5.43, and then we're going to multiply that by 94, right? And so that's going to tell us that we have a present value of these payments of 510.07, okay? So one thing I noticed, if you didn't keep track there, what I did is I just did this whole thing here, and I just kept it in the calculator, which allows us to, to do that more uh, to make sure that we don't truncate uh, or make rounding errors. Uh, so that's the, that's the one way you can do it, but that's a longer way to do it. We have basically here, you notice we have four factors here that go into these buttons. The only one that we're missing out on is a future value. Now keep in mind here that future value, right, this is a lump sum on the, the past problems that we've been working. We're using that future value as a lump sum. So in this case here, we have 10 payments of $94. We don't actually have a lump sum that is coming at the end. Um, you'll see that you use this lump sum and you use uh, future value and payment together uh, when we're talking about bond valuations or stock valuations. But for our purposes right now, if we're just talking about an annuity with not, without, without a lump sum, okay? So there is zero lump sum on, a, on an annuity, okay? So our future value here is going to be just zero just like we did on the lump sum payment, is that our payment was equal to zero, right? In this case, our future value is equal to zero, okay? So we can just start plugging this stuff in, right? We have a, uh, we'll start with our number of payments here. We have 10 payments, right? So that's 10 is our N. I think we're still using 10 payments of $94, so we hit the 94 into our payment, right? Keep in mind here is that if I hit 10 N and then 94 payment, that what this is saying is that I'm getting 10 payments of $94, okay? We have an interest rate of 13%, so 13 is our I over Y, okay? We have a zero in our future value, and notice we've gotten all these things in except for present value, and so we're gonna hit compute, present value, and holy, whatever, look at that, right? We have a present value of 510, 0.07, right? The exact same number that we came up with in this case right here, okay? So um, that's the basic way that we are working through uh, using an annuity, the annuities in our calculator, okay?